Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the Library of Ruin. Alrighty, in this episode I believe we need to catch up on just a few months. Now, I do want to beat uh, Angels of Runa, and you guys did give me a couple tips regarding that. Uh, the best tip I got was uh, just mass attack. At, and the, mm, that, yeah, that, that is, uh, that is something we could do. Another tip was just, just kill them. Just go mass damage, not mass attack. Just make everybody do insane amounts of damage and, you know, just kill them. That is, uh, that is also true. Yeah, I agree. However, no, that's it. I just agree. I believe I want to take out a boss first thing. So, we are against, uh, I'm going to mispronounce his name, Yeyu. Uh, speed dice plus six, restore one additional light, and draw one more page at the start of each scene. In each scene, first target to be hit gains emotional inhibition or mental paralysis next scene. Once per scene, respond to a one-sided attack with three hit die. When HP drops to 345, use a special page. HP cannot drop below. Use a special page. Okay. Once per reception, if opponent has emotional inhibition or emotional paralysis, uh, dice power minus one and damage minus one. At the end of the singing, gain one strength and endurance if no other allies are present. Rusted Broken Blade. Of offensive dice, gain minus one power, but deal plus two damage. Broken Blade. Restore two light if the light, if your light is full, this dice gains plus two power. Uh, own way. Impact device. Deal seven stagger damage. Oppression tactics. All dice on this page deal two more stagger damage. An odd hit, draw one page. Weakness detection. If opponent has emotional inhibition, uh, restore two light. If the opponent has mental paralysis, draw two pages. On hit, deal five stagger damage to the target. I also, just for the moment, decided to try out Blake's page on Sally because, you know, it goes with the floor theme a little bit more, but we'll probably go back to using dog on her, so, you know, that's fine. All right. Let's see what we're up against. Uh, weakness. Okay. Now, she doesn't have enough moves to actually <laughs> yeah I mean should I really complain no I had a pop up <clears throat> should I really complain no not really now she does have counter dice I haven't forgotten about that but let's try out Sally's new uh, deck shall we um let's see Serenity? This'll probably work. I have no doubts about it. And then we can go for Coffin. And then we'll also go for Shyness because I don't really want to uh, get her staggered. Although she might get staggered anyway. So I guess... Actually, you know what? Good point. She'll definitely get staggered anyway. So let's just not spend all of our light. Um, and then... Frenzy. Followed by, um, I wanted to restore some stats, but apparently that's not going to work out for us. I'm going to go for Mook Workshop, and then, hmm, Ulterior Logic. Yep, here we go. Ah, didn't end up dodging. That's fine. That's not Vera's forte. Ah, I'm feeling a little shy today. Okay, we do end up... 
Ah. <laughs> I think this floor is too powerful for you. Very good. I'm willing to say that was a pretty good turn one. Um, pale hands. You know what? Pale hands on... On Angelica, why not? Okay, now she's using all of her... <laughs> now she's going fully ham. Okay, good to know. Alright, big turn. Uh! Try harder. Uncontrollable furies. Eh. Sometimes it's nice just being really OP. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think this floor is um, too strong. However, it has like zero sustain, so it's like really strong. But if something's stronger, it has no way to actually outlast in the fight. So, you know, that's, uh, that's fine. Um, I want to increase the speed on Roland because he gets empowered if he's attacking people with reduced speed. Coffin! Ha! Ha ha Very good. Frenzy. A little bit... Oh, a little bit stronger, thanks to the whole, uh, heart shenanigans. Woo! Ow. Wheels. And then we lost the defensive. That's fine. She's about to be in range for her special, uh, mass attack. Very good. Made her burn a little bit of extra dice, so we can't really go... Hmm... Can't go too extremely all in this turn because she's just going to heal it all. Ascent or not heal it all. She's gonna prevent it all. Um so yeah, a little bit unfortunate, but we'll figure out what we need to do and then we'll simply do it. It is the way that it works. Shatter the precipice! Ow. Whew. That is a lot of strength. It's a shame none of it matters because she's at the health point where she can't go any lower. Or wait. No, she's still... Is it 325? I thought it was 375. Yeah, there's a special page. She just used it. The uh, fight back ability or whatever. Well, we may as well just keep stacking the damage. Stack the dots. Stack more dots. <laughs> you love to see it. Um, successful pierce attack. Well, I want to say Angela, but... Um, now, you know what? Angela. And then aspiration, just in case the going gets way too tough. She's almost staggered. Full power. On use, deal 25 stagger damage to self. All dice on this page deal 5 stagger damage. Oh, it was almost enough to stagger her. Oh, almost. Alright. First things first. Debuff her. Coffin? Oh, we stopped it all. <laughs> it looks like you have fallen. Destructive finish. Oh, she can't die. Wait. Oh, that... <laughs> I don't think she was supposed to die there. <laughs> I don't think we were supposed to kill her. Okay, yeah, this floor is, um... Maybe we shouldn't use this floor as much, which kind of sucks considering Sally and Vera are both on the floor. But I think this floor is, like, busted. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's give this floor a break. It, uh, I, I, I think it's, I think it might be a little too strong. 
We should take it against Angels of Ruina! And you might be thinking, Shadow wouldn't actually try that, would he? Well, of course I would. <clears throat> Hopefully that lined up correctly. It's been a hot minute since the, uh, <laughs> since the last segment, so, uh, you know? <laughs> that probably didn't line up at all. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> remember how I said that, uh, we should try this floor against, you know, Angels of Ruina? Well, I decided to give it a try. Roland's dead, but let's just see how we do. Well, we didn't block one of them on debatably the most important character. Very cool. All right, we're going to take a little bit of damage. We're not quite dead, but we're going to go for all of the evasions. We're doing a tiny bit of damage ourselves. Everything is starting to look a little bit good, a little bit fancy. Hopefully, we're not dead, although it is pretty close. She only has two health. We are able to get a tiny bit of damage off. We're going to go for the Serpent Sway. We're going to go for Shadow Repress, but unfortunately it doesn't work. We're going to go for the Marionette. Hopefully it does a little bit of damage, although it's not really going to do a whole lot. It's going to go for State of Decay, and then Angelica is going to work. Is going to die. All right, well, we got a super angry Roland now, so hopefully that does something for us, although I got to be honest. It doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot of anything. So, what happens when... Um, counter dice, uh, perception... When Angelica dies, it doesn't tell us what happens. Although, it seems like we just got, like, every manic. So, that's probably what happened. We have one Trails Astray, so... The strength they just got means absolutely nothing. Very cool. Um, yeah, also immune to sealed, so, yeah, all this strength uh, means nothing, so essentially don't clash with Roland. What does that leave us, I hear you ask? Not a lot. Um, I think we're basically going to lose everybody this turn, and she doesn't use light, so we're not going to be able to do that. Um, well. I think we're dead. Gotta be honest. Not a lot has changed. So. Let's see what we might be able to do. We can go for a cleanse decay. If this hits at least once, all allies recover, cover HP, purge 10 decay. Well, we may as well try, right? Although, every time I attempt this, I get increasingly more annoyed because, well, truth be told, we're probably still not going to win, even though I even tried the whole stupid mass attack spam thing that I was recommended and it is going to do a big fat nothing. So let's try and win something on Sally, okay? We have basically no chance to win anything. So just go for a dodge and accept our death, I think. And then we technically can block stuff on Roland, but even if we get the plus eight power, yeah. No, Roland just has to sit it out, I guess. Um, maybe he can tank the damage from this. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. So. Uh, we've done less damage here than we've done on any other floor, I think. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, we're winning a couple clashes. We're still doing basically negative damage, though. Although, stacking up the uh, dog debuff is helping us, so, okay. Good. Great. Uh-huh. Very cool. By the way, I tried to stall before fighting her just to see if maybe we could cleanse a little bit of extra decay, but all that did is just make me more vulnerable and start the fight with less light. So, yeah. There goes our Angela, so that is all of our sustain now gone. Although we have so little health, were we sustaining anyway? I don't think so. Uh, so what can we do now? Not a lot, because as you might have seen coming, 
we have no light. So, um, yeah, this is looking like a loss. I'm still going to try, I suppose. But it certainly doesn't feel good, now does it? That's not going to do anything because we weren't able to do anything last turn. So why don't we try and clash with the gun? And then I suppose we could go for uncontrollable fury. Which, uh, you know, that might do something for us. Try and get a little bit of damage in. Uh, can we restore some light? Yes, we can. Vera needs the light. Okay. Um, let's see. This dice has rolled four times. Excellent. I don't feel like we got any light back. Or did we just have that little to begin with, I guess? Hang on. How much light does she have? Four? I don't think she... I don't think she got light. Gotta be honest. I was saving Sever the Night Sky for a rainy day. However, I don't think we're going to have the opportunity to use it. So, um... Violent Blade? None of these are... Yeah. If there was more guns, maybe we could do a little something. Yeah, I, um... We're almost at the point where we can just guaranteed get some clashes, but we're not there yet. So I'm going to go double side by side into the assault and just see what happens. Hopefully this works out for us. I'm going to go for a book of light, even though it's not going to do anything for us. And let's just see what happens. Okay, we immediately lost, but we did prevent one. Okay, we lost a clash. Roland got a lucky proc and was able to get one more clash out. Okay. Wow, we actually won that clash. That is shocking. Let's do what we can. We're doing a lot better than I thought we were going to, I gotta be honest. There goes Roland. Wait, he has one health! He's still alive! Okay, Sword of Decay is going to finish her off. Yeah. Yikes. Um. Yeah, and she's going for the mass attack. You won't be able to escape this vast torment. Mass summonation. Inflict 99 decay. This has got to be. Inflict 99 decay. Most characters are just dead. It is a mass summonation. Nine, eighteen. I don't even think this is enough. Um, I guess we just go for side by side, go for the assault, and then what do we do against that? Not a lot. That won't help us. Maybe we can clash with this. So to make as much use of that as we can, let's clash here. And then, is there anything else we might be able to clash? Is anything ranged? Maybe we can get some really good dodges. And then we'll just attempt to win that, but it's not looking good. Um, let's just get the free Furoso. I mean, we may as well, right? And it's a mass summonation, so maybe that works? I Doubtful. Um, target discards a random. Very cool. 
Um, maybe we can clash that with... Actually, if we go for Marionette, just to try and win the clash. And then we can go for... This. And we'll just see what happens. There's not a lot else we can do. Okay, Furoso. We're able to block two of them. Roland is dead. Okay. No, she died! Come on! Oh my god, I hate these escort missions, dude. Oh! I cannot stand the escort missions. And you hear that? We didn't even die. We still had a fair chance, but oh. Why did it... I hate this so much. I even did your stupid mass summonation. Actually, to the people who said, bro, just spam mass attacks, here's the thing. If you lose the mass attack, you gain decay for every single mit. Everybody who won against the mass attack applies decay to you. So, if you have a really weak mass attack, i.e. Angela's, um, the will to look forward or whatever, the Hakma one, uh, which doesn't high roll very much, if you use that, there's a very high chance you just scored yourself 8 decay. Sure, you restored some health. Was it worth it? Not really. Or if you use Malkith's, um against the horses. Hey, there's a high chance you just scored 8 decay. Like, oh, this fight is so infuriating. I don't know what the... Mm, I don't know how you're supposed to do this. This is debatably our strongest floor, which is why I didn't want to use it. And also, I'm sorry, it takes so freaking long to even get to this point. It is the same thing as Judgment Bird. Freaking, you gotta get through this, and this, and this, and then you get to fight once you're super, super low. By the way, it's applying a mass debuff on you that you can't do anything about. Ha 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 ha! I don't know what possessed the creators of this really good mod to make such a crap boss, but I'm sorry, I can't do it. I've been trying, I just don't have the patience for it. I just hate this boss. And... You know, oh, well, <laughs> you just have to out-damage her. You have to out-damage the thing that's doing permanent damage that you cannot heal. Even if What's-Her-Face is healing you from the decay. Woo, she heals two decay. Guess what? Her mass attack that she uses like every other turn, it deals two decay if you can't block it. Then it deals three decay if you can't block it. So if you don't block it either... If you don't block either of them, that's 5 decay. Woo, you cured 2 decay. You still have 3 extra decay to worry about. And then, oh, but she's able to cure 10 decay. Yeah, what, every 4 turns? whoop de doo You've gathered up like 20 in that time. Um, this fight is just horrible. I do not like this fight at all. I think it is really poorly balanced. I see what they're going for. I see what they're trying to do. And I'm pretty sure I deleted the clip now, but in my original attempt, I suggested rather than just have it as one horrible gauntlet, instead, they should have made it more cinematic. They should have made it more emotional, cinematic, make it a story. In, so, for example, split it into two acts. Act one, you have to take a floor, right? So you take a floor, and you fight through all of the chess pieces. She's bombarding you the whole time. They're stacking up decay, you know, whatever. Maybe the queen is a mini boss, you know what I mean? And if you manage to get through all the pieces and the mini boss while being assaulted by her, while stacking up decay... And then you kill the mini boss. And from the mini boss, it cracks, cracks again, 
there's a light coming from it, boom, it shatters. And from the queen comes the white queen. And you hear King of the Endgame go, No, no, that's not, that's not possible. You... And then the White Queen, you know, doesn't say anything. There are no words. But the King of the Endgame mentions again. And this is like, it, it cuts to a cutscene. Um, which I know you can do. I, we've seen it multiple times in this mod alone. And, you know, King of the Endgame is essentially talking to herself. She's like, that that's impossible. You, I saw you die. You, you faded. You, you saved me. Blah, 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 blah. And then, cut to black. And you come back. And you have to pick another floor. So, your floor, gone. Now you have to choose another floor. And now, you have to get through an even harder stage of this final phase. And so, you pick your act. It starts up. And King of the Endgame goes, Why would you, why would you turn your back against me after, after all we've been through? And then, the fight begins. And now you have the White Queen, you have a full floor that's, uh, you know, everybody's full health. The fight is harder, but you actually have just a fresh, brand new floor. Um, all emotion levels have to rise. And it would be a lot more cinematic because now it's like, you know, King of the Endgame. You know, is she realizing what she's become, what she's doing? You know, to where... Even the greatest of friends is turning against her. And you get through the fight, maybe at 50%, you know, she can't be lowered past 50% health, you know, some some shenanigan like that. And then you, um... You get her to half health, and, you know, she has a little speaking bubble, and she's, like, essentially just going nuts. And then the phase gets even harder. You know, t maybe four of her dice are broken. All of the small dice are broken. Because now the only dice that are available are dice that represent her friends in some way. And, you know, she's, lo she's losing herself. Uh, she's going insane. She's applying decay to both you and uh, herself. She's trying to decay the White Queen. You know, maybe she has a guaranteed attack that doesn't do any damage, but applies 50 decay on the White Queen. But every time she tries to use it, it hits her, but the decay doesn't proc. You know, she's just not able to get rid of this one thing. Why are you turning against me? Why are you fighting me? I don't understand. Why won't you just go away? But the decay never works. She never goes away. She's still facing her. And then you get through the end of the fight, and... You know, maybe White Queen is like, Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, you, you've gone too far this time. You know, th some sort of... I'm not even going to pretend I know what should be said at that point. But at that point, I feel like there should be a special thing between White Queen and King of the Endgame. You know, j j something very sweet. Um... Kind of like the other two fights, how it ends with, like, you know, one of the girls going on a monologue and then sacrificing themselves. I think this one should, they should reconcile and, you know, they should be able to move on with each other. And, you know, after they're done talking, you have to do the final blow and, you know, you hit King of the Endgame and both King of the Endgame and the White Queen fade away. You know, and then maybe there's something past that, and then Angela and Roland go on their whole thing, and then, boom, fight over. I, I feel like that would be a lot better than just this gauntlet of just tedium. Um, they could have made this so much more cinematic. It did not have to be as hard as it was. Um, I'm pretty disappointed with the balance. And, you know, maybe it just comes down to me not being able to pull it off because you know, maybe I'm just not a very good player. I don't know. But I I feel like there could be a lot of things that give relative balance. Like, for example, between phases, maybe you cure 10, 20, okay, 15 at the most, 10 to 15 decay. You know, even that would just make a world of difference. 
that would make such a huge difference, you know? Because even then, that removes a lot of the permanent damage. Even though White Queen does, tw at most, 12 every 3-4 turns, that's just not enough, considering every time you lose a Clash, you get to K. Every, and, let's not forget, every time you win a Clash against King of the Endgame, both you and her get one Decay. And she is not affected by Decay other than it lowering her resistances. So, I don't know. I maybe, maybe I'm just not playing it right. I feel like I've tried everything you guys have suggested. I feel like I've... I've tried to play it super defensive. Obviously, that didn't work. I tried to play it super aggressive, but you just die before you even get to her. I try to cheese it and, you know, cure a bunch of decay before we actually get into the fight. But she still just pokes you down so much. And you're essentially forced to keep attacking because of her mass attacks. Because if you just do nothing, you still have the one guy hitting you. And then she hits you twice. And then she potentially hits you a third time, fourth time, fifth time. And each time is applying decay. You can't really stall it out. And her only curing two is not enough. So, I don't know. I, um... <sighs> this mod, to me, was so close to being perfect. This was, like, almost my top... Okay, it probably still is. But almost top three best mods I played for Runa. Um, and it just fell short. Like a lot of things, I don't think... Even with base Runa, with base Runa, it had the same problem of just, why don't you go the cinematic route? Why do you have to go this hair-pulling fight rather than just make it special? You know what I mean? I don't know. So, I don't think we'll be coming back to this mod. Um, I just can't do it. Well, I did promise it. Oh man, what were their voices? <laughs> I do not remember. Uh, okay, their voices are going to be wrong because it has been way too long. Rudolph, why were you hesitating back there? The fighting isn't over yet. Look alive and keep fighting. Oh, that's fine. I've just realized. It's just that I've already exhausted most of my mental energy. I can still keep going. I'm aware that the reindeers use up considerable amounts of mental energy in combat, but Mio and Maxim, along with my other subordinates, are now gone. I understand that the weight of this mission has taken a... serious toll on you. But there's no helping it now. We won't get any more chances at this. So just forget about your surroundings and try and hold on for a little longer. Yes. Understood. Try to recall everything you've gathered so far from this battle. And do your best. Now, follow my lead. Captain! In the end, uh, every last one of us got wiped out. Everyone but me. I'm going to die too if I keep going like this. There's still so many enemies left, and I'm all that's left. My head hurts so much. I was consuming so much mental energy twice in a row, too much for me to handle. What's more, just the thought of the others not being able to hatch anymore makes it hurt even more. I'll have to retreat for now. Uh, uh, looks like they didn't follow me here. Is this the entrance to the library? Hmm. I never thought it would be here. Right. The director of the library said those very words here. As human beings yourselves, why have none of you lost your minds yet? After slaughtering hundreds of copies of yourself 
just like that. It didn't matter. Each of us gave different responses that time. The captain said that it was nothing compared to what she had previously seen in our lives. The rhino said that he simply tries to tough it out. The rabbit never gave a vocal response, but that doesn't matter. Perhaps she was able to make it this far due to her desire wanting to be recognized as a hero. Just like the Red Mist, who she always looked up to. But I... I never gave anything. No, I couldn't. Could something filled with so much resurrection and death even be regarded as human life in the first place? If I walk out that door over there, will I make it back to our corp? To that dang forsaken place? Even if I do go back... None of my reindeers or colleagues are going to be there. Hatchery doesn't have any energy left, so they won't be coming back anymore. We failed to accomplish our mission. The ravens are going to slaughter me if I return, because this was our last chance. I have to turn back. I'll fight with everything I have until my last breath. Just like they did. Because this is my only option. I so afraid of why can't I get my feet to move when I know I have to fight with my head I've already died countless times but why am I so afraid of it this time to witnessing the death of my comrades weighs so heavy upon me that I lost all the will to fight why did I even run away in the first place? Did reaching critical levels of my mental strength really justify my actions? I've, it's, all, it's only been gnaw, I've only been gnawing at myself more and more rather than focusing on recovering my strength. Just where should I go? Is this how one loses their way? I cannot go in, nor can I go out of the library. All that awaits me is death, no matter where I go. Whether I die in the library or be disposed of outside. Either way, this truly has been a miserable life. This is not human life. This is the life of a livestock that gets worked to death and will eventually be slaughtered once it has exhausted its use. Livestock. Indeed. My obsession with... All this has been so devastating to my mind. And maybe if I was a livestock, I wouldn't have to worry so much. I just need to faithfully follow the instructions given out to that letter. More than that, I don't have to think about anything at all. Now I will know where I truly belong. Where I can live out my life as a livestock. Come, let us go towards that wide meadow. Wendigo and the livestock. Oh boy. Well, I think it's only fair we bring out the charge floor. Although, there's some floors we haven't seen for a hot minute. For example... Netsax floor. <laughs> so you know what? Maybe we give Netsax floor a try. Maybe we just see how it goes. I don't think they'll get through it, but you know what? We'll try. Every time the character recovers from stagger, gain one strength and, en and endurance. Okay, it's survivor. Triple R rearing can store up to 30 charges at once. If the character has 11 or more charge at the start of the scene, deal plus two damage with attacks if the character has 20 more 21 or more charge the amount increases to plus four hp cannot drop below 50 percent can act while staggered when hp drops to 50 percent or all other allies die enter the next phase upon entering the next phase this passive changes its effect and the current deck is replaced oh boy 
Agglomeration. Spend four charge. On hit, target's dice power cannot be influenced by any effects next scene. Ugh. Splitting Mind Whip. If user has the page Mind Whip set in a speed die, destroy all dice on this page and use that page again on a random enemy up to two times. Concentrated Power. Gain three charge. If user as is at 20 plus charge, gain two strength next scene instead. Breakdown. Gain four charge. Deal four stagger damage to target. Take stagger damage equal to 4% of max stagger resist. Three times. Mind Sphere. Spend three charge to inflict one feeble next scene. Spend three charge to inflict one feeble next scene. Mind Whip. Deal four. Okay. Yeah, it's just Mind Whip. And then Concentration. Livestock. They also have Survivor. If the character... Okay, domestication. And then reindeer treatment, they gain strength based on their health. Graze the grass, energy strike, brainwave disturbance. Deal five stagger damage to self, spend two charge to restore one light. On hit, deal stagger damage twice. Interesting. Okay, and they all have the same thing. So you know what? We're just going to see how Netzak does. Um, I don't think it's exactly going to work, but we're going to try. Okay, let's see how we do. Make sure we're all pretty much good to go. We've used that, we use that. He has not used his, let's see. He is mainly aggression, so let's gain some strength. And then here we go. The unity! Ow. Look at that, the power of unity. Ow. Ha <laughs> ha, unity, precision. Perfection. Very good. Ah. Ow. Ah. Okay, they're going to be dealing a lot of stagger damage to us. However, this is the floor for recovering stagger resist. We just have to actually get there. Oh. Ow. Shockwave! Okay, we didn't end up dodging. We do end up getting staggered pretty early on. Fiction. Staggered. Extra damage. Didn't quite finish him off, but you know what? It did do pretty good. Laughing Powder's a little bit late now, but let's just go ahead and go for it. By the way, I think the re part of the reason my game is lagging so much as of recently... Uh, I think we have too many mods installed at once. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Kind of feeling like that might be part of the reason. So, yeah, we might have to turn off some mods. Um, I don't know exactly what mods we will turn off. But it has to be something because it's starting to get pretty bad. All right. Let's see how far our unity can get us. Although the fact he's going for that attack does kind of suck. We're not really able to stop it right now, though. Ow. Okay. Jeez, the amount of mind whips. Ah. Staggered! Be gone with you. That attack might die. Ugh, might die. Ow. Energy strike. Shockwave? Wow, that wall, what good rolls. Unity. Hope. Oh, he's dead. He's so dead. Ah, one down. Justice. That's two down. That's... You know what? That's a stagger. I'll take that. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty solid. You know what? Out of all the things that could have happened, I would kind of kind of prefer that. Okay, this is basically just going to be a draw turn. And then he is going to be going into a second phase. So, a little bit unfortunate, but not a lot we can do to stop that. So, we may as well just get as many resources as we can afford to get. Bailing after images. Very good. 
Draw, 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 and restore some light while we're at it. Okay. Um, Echoes from Beyond. Eh, it's not really worth it. Um, tentacles could technically be good on everyone. I'm actually going to re-roll, though. Uh, we could go for Pebble. Alright, phase two. Let's see what that passive does before we do anything else. Uh, can act while staggered. If there is at least one staggered enemy, all dice gain plus two power. Upon losing a clash, recover stagger resist of self and the opponent. Oh boy, already using a mass attack? Carnage. If target is a livestock, kill the target. At the end of the scene, take ten, sta ten stagger damage for every character staggered or killed by this page. Uh, gain strength equal to half of the amount of characters staggered or killed by this page next scene. On hit, inflict a lot of stagger. Okay, well, I kind of wish we had a little bit more options. But since we don't, I guess we'll just do what we can do. Let's go for Unity Bolster. Um, let's give ourselves some strength. And then the mass attack. Let's go ahead... Um, let's go for coordination right here, and then love, oh, hmm, you know what, veiling after images, and then we could go for unity hope really early on, which I think we're going to do, uh, however, yeah, you know what, gain some endurance. And then I want to go for Unity Courage. And. Okay. It's going to be an iffy turn, but let's just see what we can do. Ow. Okay, no one's staggered, no one's dead yet, but it's getting very, very close. Okay, no one staggered, no one dead. We have a chance. Courage! Uh, ah. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be a stagger, I think. Nope, not quite. Uh, tiny bit of... Okay. Yeah, now we're staggered. Oof. Ah, uh, nope. Okay. Almost had two staggers. So he's going to gain extra power next turn, or he might already have it. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Go for big damage. Almost staggered. Oh, he has three stagger resists left. Ah. Or wait, no, he can act while staggered anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Ugh. Each time greater than 10% of their max HP. He's not hitting too hard. Hmm. And then, if they're staggered, deal extra damage, get rid of some light. Actually, he doesn't have... <clears throat> okay, he does have shimmering. I was about to say, he doesn't have shimmering. Yes, he does. <laughs> um. Hmm. You know what? Let's take some reduced damage. And then... Let's go ahead and try and stagger him. And then we're going to go for both Unity Bolster and Lev. Yeah. Just do both right on there. Okay, let's see what we can do. So an immediate stagger. Okay, now we're going to do extra damage. It does help. Yeah, so he's still able to do stuff. We can essentially force a clash. We do end up losing Kura. I think we lose... Okay, we didn't lose the Netzak, at least not yet. He is taking an absurd amount of increased damage thanks to um, uh, Cygnus's debuff. 
Okay, he recovered all of his stagger resist. However, we are going to lose the clash that would have been the best attack. That does suck. Okay, we get three attacks off. We do win the clash. We win both clashes. Don't get staggered yet. Although we do just about lose someone. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. He's going for mass attack, I presume? No, he's not. Um, then in that case, I am going to go for fiction so that everybody can roll. And hopefully that is just going to work out for us. We're just going to see. I'm going to go for as big of rolls as I possibly can. Well, we're going to draw a lot, but I don't know how much that's really going to do for us. Oh, staggered. Rip. Actually, double staggered. Oof. Okay, so that's, uh, that's where this ends. Ow. Okay, well, we got him to 734 health. That's not bad for the Unity Floor. Um, the Unity Floor definitely needs a little bit of work. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it needs just a little bit of help. Well. Hey, at least it tried. Hey, he's got one pedal. Maybe maybe we maybe we survive this turn. Nope. Apparently not. Well then. We must do what the others could not. And that is destroy this wretched reindeer. <laughs> We're gonna take a little bit of damage, that's okay. We are currently doing percent health damage, so even though he's about to recover 100 health, I don't think it'll matter. He's at the health threshold where he can no longer go lower, so we are just going to try and stack up as much as we possibly can. Although, once again, he is going to regain a little bit of health. There goes his boy. So then, shall we begin? He is at 700 health, which is a little bit higher than I would like for phase two. Uh, he was lower before that, but that's okay. Um, let's go for intemperance with our... King of Greed. There are no pages in hand. Seal of speed die. Yeah, why not? We'll give it a try. See what happens. Okay, so the livestock is dead. Although, it just looks a little bit strange. You know, half the reason I don't talk, uh... <laughs> and just cut out the part where I choose pages is just because it takes me freaking ages to actually choose what kind of pages I want. Uh, so if you're wondering why I tend to cut out the um, page picking, that's why. Because <laughs> it takes me a really, really long time. Not that I intend for it to, but uh, you know, that is okay. As long as we are trying. Um, and then I also want to try and get Kinsey. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see how this does. I want to try and get Kinsey Courageous. See what we can do. He is really, really debuffed. And we just happen to stack that up a little bit more. So here comes Carnage. Blocked. Blocked. Almost blocked! Percent health damage. You cannot fight the power of the magical girls. You cannot fight the love. The sword tempered with tears. The chorus. Or. The overwhelming luster. Ah. Happiness. <laughs> we have unlocked our greater emotion, while you have succumbed to it. Now, allow us to show you the one true 
way. Wow, we killed him. Oh my god. Oh, you love to see it. Phase two into immediately dead. Oh my god. Some of our floors are so powerful. Um, however, that does kind of make me feel like maybe we should intentionally nerf some of our floors because some of our floors feel very very strong compared to others so maybe we'll have to nerf yeah maybe we'll have to do something about that we'll see but um yeah maybe we want to nerf some of our own floors he really kept on eating bits of himself to stay alive for a while longer I was plain disgusting no matter how anyone looks at it. Of course, compared to the others who have witnessed stuff like this countless times, this kind of thing is really out of the ordinary for me. Roland, I thought of something as I was looking over the reception. Would getting my hands on that one book really lead me to happiness once I finally leave this place as a human being? Because... As long as we live in the city's clutches, I will only find myself being placed under new restraints. Can this really be considered human life? My surroundings may have become much more expansive, but I fear that my life as a machine will not change. I'm a little scared. Uh, I get you. <laughs> the city is a place where you have no choice but to keep on stepping over and consuming others just to get by. All that matters over there is your identity as someone human. Along with the fact that each and every person's life is fleeting, you don't really have much of a say in things when you have to sever your connections with someone. But that's not to say everyone in the city is beyond saving. There's plenty out there who were able to live with the pain as long as they have something precious to live for, even if they found themselves stuck in a tomb. Something precious. Well, finding one isn't exactly as easy as it sounds. Nevertheless, I thought that finding one myself would give me the strength to live there. What is precious to me? Thanks for the advice. It makes me feel a little better. Excellent. Now then, shall we see what our new thing does? Wendigo. Let's see. Speed 3, Survivor, Triple R, Rearing, Domestication. Wendigo can act while staggered. At emotion level 3 or above, gain special combat page that can be used only while staggered. Hmm. So, that's probably going to go on to Ivan! Go. And then we're just going to replace Emergency Resuscitation Protocol. Yeah. I think that might be for the best. So, without further ado, I believe that is going to do it for this episode of The Library of Runa. Uh, sorry it got a little bit depressing halfway through. I just, I tried. You know, I really, really did. And we did get there with a few of our floors, but just dang, man. You know, maybe there's maybe there's something else I can do. You know, maybe we'll give it one more attempt in a video, but I feel like I've said all there is to say um, regarding what's on my mind. I just don't think it's very well balanced. Um, I think at the end of the day, you kind of just got to get lucky. So, yeah, I don't know. But we did end up changing uh, Netsax floor just a little bit. So here's what we got. Sunny's page with uh, what you see right here. A little bit of a discard deck, although it could be better. I also do need to change his uh, uh, battle symbols just a bit because they're no longer very good. Bottom deal, because we're going to be getting rid of a lot of ammo. 
chink in one's armor because I think co combined with rabbit augmentation, that could be really, really good. And then, of course, we have just a regular black samurai with the deck you see here. As well as information assessment, your shield and fervor. Just for that little bit of extra power as the fight goes, uh, combined with what else the floor is doing, I think it should be relatively good. Facey Randy, who is using Sunny's bodyguard page, as well as Kalos page, another discard synergy, and Bono's page just for a chance at a little bit of extra strength. We are then also using Bellis' page with Solidarity for the guaranteed strength so long as someone is alive, which someone is going to be, and Hanafuda's page for both bottom deal and stacking the deck because of all the uh, discard synergy, especially eliminate the hindrances, I think it's going to be relatively good. And then Barrel's page, just as a tiny, tiny bit of um, extra upkeep, I guess. And two of our people also have pincer movement, being the Black Samurai and Barrel, so I think it should be good. We are also using Sink into Misery, which I definitely got, legit. But that's fine. Uh, and then we're using Maze Page for stagger resistance. Um, Firm is a great mountain for health and fervor, just for a tiny bit of extra power. I believe that's all we've done in terms of changes. I've also, just for the moment, I'm going to try out something very, very weird with uh, Kingsley. Which is... The Monochrome Dragons page combined with Sensor Synergy. I don't know if it's going to be good. I'm certainly going to try. It might not be that good, though. Cold Rain Sensor, Frosty Fog, Cold Rain Workshop, and Somber Icy Night. Hopefully, that will do something rather than nothing. And that's basically it as far as changes go. Um, we're using Glenn's page, Liu Ye's page, the Gruesome Hammer, Shield of the Ego, and Leanne Sakaris. Puppet Angelica, Jehan. <laughs> Ling Big Sway, Tanya. The Complete Page Wong's Pack, which I definitely got legit. Yishan's page, Greta's page, Anard's page, and Magical Girl of Fiction. We are... I. This floor hasn't changed at all. Page Librarian of Natural Sciences, the Bremen, Magical Girl of Courage, Justice, and Happiness. Ulysses Page, Wendigo, Mio, Karas, and Nikolai. The Patron Librarian of Philosophy, Magical Girl of Love, Elena, Dan Ding, and the Enforcer. The Purple Tear, <laughs> Mirane, Buzz, and Truss. And then, of course, Roland, Dog, Mayumi, uh, Angelica, and Angela. So, I think we are looking relatively good. Apparently not good enough to beat some bosses. Um, which is kind of funny, considering I'm like, oh man, our floors are way too strong. And then I get totally creamed. Um, so maybe we should have some floors which are like not so strong and then some floors which are like super super strong which we kind of already have uh i definitely think netzax is one of those floors that could use a little bit of extra love hopefully this reworked floor um will be better rather than worse but i guess we will see so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for all the tips um i always appreciate it and i always appreciate the modded suggestions just sometimes it doesn't quite work out in our favor. But I still appreciate everything nonetheless. So, thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.